my favorite time of the year. It's fall. You know, when you're in elementary school, you learn that the season's in the fall. It's cold and windy, um, but that's just not true in San Diego. It's hot. Then we have Santa Ana winds, and this is when we get our fires. But nevertheless, I still embrace the sweater weather, the cuddling, the pumpkin spice, the Oktoberfest, and um, just cinnamon, the smell of cinnamon and nutmeg. It just brings me so much joy. Once October 1st hits, Angela is in full force. There's so much that goes on in the back half of the year that I really look forward to. One of the things that's coming up is Dia de los Muertos, and it's typically on November 1st or 2nd, depending, I believe, if you're celebrating adults or, or babies, because there's Dia de los Angelitos as well. But we celebrate as, well, I'm talking to you, Zach, but you know we celebrate Leo every year by building an altar um, for him and all of our other family members who have passed away. And it's been such an amazingly beautiful healing thing that we participate in. And so that's coming up. And this year I've had the honor of being tasked by you as kind of taking charge on the altar this year. So my question to you is one, what do you think I'm gonna do? Because I see your face when you see what I'm planning or when you see that I am planning. I don't think you know what I am planning yet. What's your favorite part about this holiday? What do you love the most about it? Well, Angela, I absolutely love autumn in the beginning of winter. I love when the weather begins to cool down in late October or early November. I love all of the holidays and festivals that happen at this time of year. I enjoy Oktoberfest, the pumpkin patch with our girls, and trick-or-treating on Halloween. As you know, my birthday's in November. Then there's Thanksgiving and Black Friday! I really love all the hype and excitement of the season leading into Christmas. I mean, December. The weekend is full of football and trash talking with friends who support other teams. It's just great. To answer your question, you're right, Angela. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is coming up, and it has certainly become one of the most important holidays to me. Living so close to the border of California and Mexico has allowed me to be immersed in Mexican culture ever since I can remember. Many of my friends growing up were of Mexican heritage, and some even lived in Baja, California, but went to school here in San Diego. They would share their different customs and traditions with me, and I would share how I was brought up with them as well. It was beautiful to realize just how similar our cultures were, and to embrace and celebrate our differences. Day of the Dead is one holiday that didn't make much sense to me when I was first introduced to it. I thought it was some sort of Mexican Halloween that was celebrated in cemeteries rather than on the streets of your neighborhood. However, a number of years ago, I began to see Day of the Dead as more of an interesting way to honor and remember our ancestors. I thought it was neat and rather sweet. I don't know if you know this, but my first attempt at an altar was about seven years ago. Do you remember when I learned a whole bunch about my family genealogy? I felt compelled to celebrate my heritage and my newfound ancestors in as many ways as I could. I ended up putting out some flowers and pictures that first year. It wasn't until our son Leo passed away that I really felt the need to build an authentic altar. As you know, we had buried him at La Vista Memorial Park just above the Sweetwater River Valley, and to our amazement, Ed Belmonte, our rep and now close friend, shared with us that La Vista had a Dia de los Muertos festival every year where families are welcome and encouraged to build extravagant altars. That first year after Leo's death, I wanted so desperately to connect with him in any way that I could. It was healing for me to create something with you we were so sad and still very much walking through the fog of our shock and grief. We found all of the elements that we needed, and I remember you and I pouring our hearts into that first real altar. It was so therapeutic to share his little life story with thousands of people that day as they walked by and gazed at our tribute to our little boy and also to your dad. We had lost two months after our son. I love that you put a pomegranate as a tribute to one of my best friends, Rob Kelly, who we also lost in 2013. We're freaking here. Can you believe that we are about to participate in the building of our fourth altar this year? I know you will do great at designing an altar that celebrates our son, Leo. 
with a little of your artistic flair. If you're in the San Diego area and you want to see our altar, you're more than welcome to come out and visit us. Visit lavistamemorialpark.com for more information.